Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. Before we start, we'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahweh is our power and authority. Yahweh works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahweh, your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Luke 17. Yeshua said to his Talmudim, It is possible that snares will not be set, but woe to the person who sets them. It would be to his advantage that he have a millstone hung around his neck, and he be thrown into the sea, rather than he, rather than he, rather than that he ensnares one of these little ones. Watch yourself. If your brother sins, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. Also, if seven times in one day he sins against you, and seven times he comes to you and says, I repent, you are to forgive him. The emissary said to the Lord, Increase our trust. The Lord replied, If you had trust as tiny as a mustard seed, you could say to this fig tree, Be uprooted and replanted in the sea, and it would obey you. If one of you has a slave tending the sheep or plowing when he comes back from a field, will you say to him, come along now, sit down and eat? No, you'll say, get my supper ready, dress for work, and serve me until I have finished eating and drinking. After that, you may eat and drink. Does he thank the slave because he did what he was told? No, it's the same with you. When you have done everything you were told to do, you should be saying, we're just ordinary slaves. We have only our, done our duty. On his way to Yerushalayim, Yeshua passed along the border country between Shamron and the Gilau. As he entered one of the villages, ten men afflicted with Sarat met him. They stood at a distance and called out, Yeshua, Rabbi, have pity on us. On seeing them, he said, Go and let the Kohenim examine you. As they went, they were cleansed. One of them, as soon as he noticed that he had been healed, returned shouting praises to God. He fell on his face at Yeshua's feet to thank him. Now he was from Shamron. Yeshua said, Weren't ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found coming back to give glory to God? Except this foreigner? And to the man from Shamron, he said, Get up, you may go. Your trust has saved you. The Pershim asked Yeshua when the kingdom of God would come. The kingdom of God, he answered, does not come with visible signs. Nor will people be able to say, Look, he is here! Or, Over there, because you see the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his Talmudim, Time is coming when you will long to see even one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. Because people will say to you, Look, right here, or see, over there. Don't run off. Don't follow them. Because of the Son of Man, in his day will be like lightning that flashes and, and lights up the sky from one horizon to the other. But first, he must endure horrible suffering and be rejected by this generation also also at the time of the son of man it will be just like the time of noah people ate and drank men and women married right up into the day noah entered the ark then the flood came and destroyed them all likewise it was at the time of lot people ate and drank bought and sold planted and built but in the last day when the day lot left Saddam, fire and sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. That is how it's to be the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, if someone is on the roof with his belongings in his house, he must not go down to take them away. Similarly, if someone's in a field, he must not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever aims to pervert 
preserve his own life will lose it, but whoever loses his own life will stay alive. I tell you, on that night, there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left behind. There will be two women grinding together, grinding grain together. One will be taken and the other left behind. They ask him, where, Lord? He answered, wherever there's a dead body, there are two vultures gather. What can we learn? How we can love our creator, love Yah, after reading Luke 17? Do not set snares, especially for little ones. If someone sins against you, then rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. If someone sins seven times in a day against you, and seven times he comes to you and repents, then you are to forgive him. Ask Yeshua to increase your trust. Creation obeys those who have trust. Do your duty to Yeshua by obeying his commands. Call out the Yeshua and have pity to have pity on you. Then praise Yeshua when he takes pity on you. Thank Yeshua by falling down on your face to him. Give glory to Yeshua for his healing. Know and believe that it is your trust that saves you. The kingdom of God does not come with visible signs. The kingdom of God is among you. Follow Yeshua even when men try to persuade you to follow signs. The time of the Son of Man will be like the time of Noah, also like the time of Lot. Keep your focus and eyes on Yeshua during the revealing of the Son of Man. Remember Lot's wife. Prepare yourself to lose your life for the sake of Yeshua, the Messiah. Love others? We could share the good news of Yeshua. Ask Yeshua to increase your trust. Praise Yeshua for His grace and mercy. Always give glory to Yeshua. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. Bear one another's burdens. We can love deeply. Amen.